Hello guys, welcome back to Together with Electronics. This is episode number two, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install libraries in your Altium Designer. Uh, so starting up, we have to go to Google Chrome and search for download Altium Designer libraries. Once you do that, you should click on the first link and it should navigate you to a page in which you should get a uh, link like this. Uh, this is a 305 MB package and you should download this one. Uh, so once you've downloaded it, uh, it will look somewhere like this. And here you have all the components grouped into um, individual files. So uh, now you have to open up Altium Designer. Open up any random schematic, it does not matter whatsoever. Uh, then you go to design, add slash remove libraries. Then uh, you uh, in this pop-up window, you click on install. Then you navigate to uh, the folder in which you have uh, downloaded the libraries. Uh, then you have to individually select each and every um, component. You should uh, select this as integer li integrated library. Um, then you have to uh, go to each and every file and uh, select all. Then click on open. Uh, this is a if you do if you install all of the libraries at once, it will slow down your computer, no doubt. Uh, so I recommend uh, installing only the libraries you will be using, and uh, the big uh, big guys like the Atmel. Then you have the Texas Instruments, and the only components you have uh, chance of using because you don't need all those FPGAs un unless you're really into it. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and select Atmel. Then you have all these components. Just select all and then click on open. Once you do that, they'll all be added to this uh, library uh, in this uh, uh, pop up window. And now they should be easily accessible through this uh, place in which now you can select Atmel and you'll have all the components in here. You see these Atmel chips. Uh, so, th uh, so that was the first video on uh, how to use Altium Designer. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.